Good morning, folks. It's 10.30 a.m. and I'm out here at Lake Berryessa. It's been quite a while since the last time I've been out here, so I am dying to get out onto the water as quickly as possible. And today, I will be fishing out of the native watercraft Slayer 10. This is a really, really dope yak. I absolutely love it. I test tried it out on Lodi Lake near Headwaters Kayak. And by the way, huge shout out to Headwaters. I love you guys. The customer service is on point. It's superb. And yeah, I am just super thrilled to be out here. And today I brought my drop shot rod and I brought my chatterbait rod as well. And I have the hog trough, the anchor, paddles, and I have some camera accessories in the front as well as snacks and drinks and whatnot. So yeah, enough blabbering and let's do some fishing. There's one. Yeah. There we go. Oh, he's a little guy. Little dude. Little dude. Little dude. It's windy today, folks. Really windy. But that's cool. That's cool. Just gonna have to tough it out. It's a little uh, largey. He's probably just about, say, 10, 11 inches. Probably not a keeper. If he is, he's barely a keeper. <laughs> Still pretty fish though. Okay, bud, thanks for being my first fish out of the new kayak. And uh, I hope you grow bigger this summer. See you, bud. This fish oh that's a nice one there we go that's a nice fish that's a nice fish oh that's a big chunky spot get over here bubba get over here Woo! or maybe that's a large can't really tell looks like a spot Ugh. all right get over here now that's more like it, folks. That is more like it. Look at that. It's definitely a solid fish. Probably like two and a half, three pounds. Woo! My deck is all wet from the howling wind. It's splashing water into it, but that's cool. At least I caught a very, very nice fish. Woo! Awesome. Look at that. Beauty. Okay, bud. Thank you for biting. It was a fun fight. And tell your other big brothers and sisters to bite too. <laughs> See ya. This rocky point right here looks pretty good. I feel like there's going to be some fish here. My fish senses are tingling right now. Let's hope I'm right. <laughs> there's a bite. There's one. What's another nice? Oh, damn, look at him. I think that's a smallmouth. Look at the way he's fighting. He's for sure small. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That color on him is definitely a bronze back. Look at that. Do y'all see that? The way he's just jumping. These smallies don't give up. See, I told y'all. Fish senses were tingling, man. I knew there was going to be a fish here. Stop. Stop. You done? Are you done? Can I take you in the boat now? Are you done? Are you keep fighting? Come on, man. Just give up. Just give up, buddy. 
Just give up. Oh my God, this, this mother, this mother effer, he don't want to give up. All right, I'm gonna get the net after this. I don't know why I didn't bring the net out. I should have brought out the net, but. Okay, I'm just gonna, there we go. Look at that. Solid fish. My rod almost fell into the water. Jesus. I am a mess over here. Okay. There we go. Look at that, folks. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bronze back. Woo! What a gorgeous smallmouth. I just really, I absolutely love the way these guys fight. Oh, hold on. I need to back out of there, so I'm going to hit the rock soon. And that's going to be all bad. Let's get out of this for a quick sec. Man, I don't know why they're not biting the chatterbait, dude. That's weird. They're only biting finesse right now. I was really hoping to get some reaction bites, but maybe later on in the day when it's not as hot and uh, not as... I don't know. Well, they're supposed to bite during... The chatterbait's supposed to work pretty well on windy days, but so far... It's not really producing for me, so you know I'm just gonna stick the drop shot because it's working. The drop shot always works, almost like 99.999% of the time. Whew. That is a nice smolly. Ain't a big one, but still a nice smolly. I just put down my rod and uh yeah look at that gorgeous smallmouth gorgeous look at how pretty he is or she is who knows <laughs> yeah probably about i'd say actually i have the hog trough right here why don't i just weigh uh, measure her um Okay, so she's at, or he's at, 14 and a half inches. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, 14 and a half inches. Not bad, not bad, not bad. That's a solid, solid smallie, probably about a um, pound and a half or so. Put up one hell of a fight. I mean, this smallie fought like a like a three four pound largemouth man huh. oh i love small mouth Woo. okay bud thanks for biting see ya all right folks it's time for an update so right now it is extremely windy it's so windy that my yak is filled with water take a look at that take a look at how high the water is right now Literally a ton of water has just been splashing into my yak because of how powerful the current is. It's like I'm fishing out on the ocean or something like that. It's just insane. And my boat is just filled with water. It's currently a complete disaster. I mean, I, I, I've caught a few fish, so that's good. Skunks out, that's great. But this is just a total complete mess. I mean, look at this thing. Ah, oh my god and now i'm out here trying to recuperate stay on land dry up a little bit because my shoes are completely soaked look at that it's dark blue because of all the water that has entered my shoes and my socks my feet are soaking and i have to retie the leader line on my drop shot rod because it's all messed up the wind's just super powerful today and you know i have to retie uh, so I have to add some more line on my bait caster because I got a terrible bird's nest. Take a look at that. This terrible, terrible bird's nest because of the wind and my inexperience with the bait caster. So, yeah, just it's hell right now. It is hell out here. I'm just glad that I beat the skunk. You know, caught two decent fish and one dink. So, you know, at the end of the day, I hope I can catch a limit of five keepers and, you know, I'll be happy with that. 
But right now, I'm just trying to stay on land, stay dry, because the wind is fucking nasty. And uh, yeah, that's about it for right now. I'm gonna retie the line and uh, see y'all in a minute. Look at how powerful the wind is right now. It's still howling, man. So I'm just standing on shore right now and uh, trying to see if I can catch a fish from the bank. Because right now it's just super windy. This one. Oh, little dude. Whew. I literally traveled from one end of the lake all the way to the other side because of how windy it's been. I mean, take a look at my deck, y'all. It's still filled with water. And so, yeah, it's just been, I've been fighting the wind throughout most of the day instead of catching fish. Instead of fighting fish, I've just been fighting the wind. So, you know, I'll I'll take anything at this point. It's just been so damn slow. And it's just honestly because I can't get to a lot of places because of how windy it is. It's just not worth getting soaking wet. I mean, my pants are still somewhat soaked. I doubt y'all can see, but yeah, my pants are soaked. Shoes are definitely soaked. Yeah, I'm like, practically took a shower in the lake. <laughs> All right, see you, bud. You can go to bite. Yep. This one feels a bit better. Yeah, he's a bit better. Come here. I think this one actually might be a spot, the way he's fighting. He's giving it a run for his money. Oh no. Ugh. It's just a really, really fat orgy. Ha! Take a look at that. Oh, look at that, folks. Fat, fat orgy. Looks like he's still in pre-spawn mode or some shit. <laughs> oh my god. What a healthy, gorgeous fish, though. Absolutely beautiful. All right, chubby guy. Time for you to go back into the water. See ya! This one. Feels like a little one. Yeah, it's a little guy. Well, the bite's better over here. It's all largemouth though. I was trying to catch some more spots. Well, I didn't catch any spots today, but I was trying to catch a spot and some more smallies because I honestly just love smallmouths. The way they fight, man, it's just much harder. They fight way harder. They fight way harder than a largemouth. God, I couldn't speak there. <laughs> but yeah, another dink, another fish. See you, bud. Okie dokie. Let's see if the cheddar bait's going to work around here. Though I'm not going to be very, I'm not positive. I'm not confident at all. It's just tough to get a reaction bite out here today, man. I've been getting so many birds nest. I'm starting to get fed up. <laughs> I honestly think my best bet at catching a fish on a chatterbait would be at the Delta. Oh, wait. Is that a fish? Yes, I think that is a fish. He striked it. <laughs> yes. Get over here, Bubba. Yeah, right when I said I wasn't sure I had confidence on this thing. Woo! Oh, no! Damn it. 
damn it. Damn it. Oh, son of a That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. It's ooh, ooh. It's pulling pretty hard. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> the way he fought, he fought like a freaking ten pounder. Obviously, I'm exaggerating, but still, I mean, this thing fought pretty damn hard. Damn. These largies got attitude today. Ow! I got the hook stuck. My finger, ow, ow, ow. Hey, stop it, stop it. Getting my pants wet, bro. Getting my damn pants wet. So what are you trying to do, ass wipe? Huh? Is that what you are trying to do, man? There we go. Look at that, folks. Fourth keeper of the day. In fact, I'm gonna uh, measure her. I know he's not very big. You know what? I've been losing a lot of fish. Well, not a lot of fish. I lost two fish on the chowder bait. So, you know, I'll just take whatever I can get. Let's see. Okay. On the board. And just slightly over 12 inches. So, yeah. He is a little keeper. And uh, he fought pretty well. Like I said, this is uh, my fourth keeper of the day. Again, not a big one, but damn, it sure as hell fought like one. Awesome. All right, fighter, see ya. There's one. guy uh, not the one I was hoping for but you know what it's getting pretty late now it's getting sun's almost sun's almost fully oh crap <laughs> I'm so distracted trying to multitask and so I'm just completely distracted right now but yeah I was trying to say is uh Sun is setting for sure. It's getting dark. This dude ain't gonna be a keeper. I was really just trying to catch the fifth keeper, but whatever. Oh, I think we got another bite. Oh, yeah. A lot of dinks. A lot of dinks. I'm just hoping right now, since it's getting pretty damn close to nighttime. Wow, this is the smallest fish of the day. See you, bud. Anyways, I was hoping that I can just, uh, if I can catch a couple dinks, maybe, just maybe, once I weed through those little guys, the big one will uh, come along and take the bait. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a nice one. There we go. Look at that. Oh, it's fighting, man. It's fighting. Ooh, last cast of last fish of the day. Now, I just got to make sure I don't screw this up. Wow, he's a big one. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Ooh. Okay, okay, easy up there, easy there, boy. Look at that, folks. Gave him my last hoorah. You know, I didn't want to leave this place without catching my fifth fish. And uh, well, here he is. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. That's a big spotty. That's a big spotty. Come here. Come here, Bubba. Oh, look at that. That is my PB for damn sure. I've never seen a spot that big in my life. Holy shit. Holy shit. This is a big mother. Oh my God. Look at that fish, folks. <laughs> Hell yeah. Definitely worth staying out until the sun sets. Like, I was literally. Oh. I really don't know what to say. Like, I was just like, oh my God, I don't know if it's worth staying out until the moon comes up, but you know, it, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's definitely worth it. I don't like staying out here until, I, in, until it's like pitch black where I can't see anything. And by the time I get back to the launch ramp, it will be pitch black. But you know what? This biggin sure as hell made it all worth it. You know, I knew there was bound to be sell a big fish right around here because I keep getting a lot of bites from these dinks. And then voila, this big spotted bass just came up and chomped it. Whew. I completed the bass trifecta today too as well. Caught um, a nice solid largemouth at the beginning of the day, probably 16, 17 inches, maybe 18 inches long, about two and a half, three pounds. Then I caught a 14 and a half inch smallie and this one's probably like a three pound, maybe even four pound spot. Definitely gonna weigh this big girl. Woo! Take a look at that, folks. The scale is reading 3.3 pounds. God damn! That is for sure my biggest spotted bass of the year. In fact, probably my biggest, the biggest spotted bass I've ever caught. Now let's see how big this girl is. Okay, folks, take a look at that. I don't know if you can see it's pretty dark right now, but she is literally at from the tip, from the tip of the mouth to the tip of the tail. She's at a whopping 19 inches long. I doubt y'all can see that. Actually, let me just take out my phone, shine a light. Uno momento. Okay. All right. Got my flashlight on. So tip of the mouth. All the way to the tip of the tail, she's at a whopping 19 inches long. Again, sorry if you guys can't see it, but yeah, she the very tip of the tail reaches 19 inches. So she is definitely my biggest spotted bass of the year. I mean, just look at how big this sucker is. Look at her. Shine the light on this uh, fish for extra clarity. Look at that. Just look at that. That is a monster. That's an absolute monster. That's an absolute mondo right there. God damn. Look at that beaut. Whoo. All right, I'm gonna take a couple pictures of her and then release this bad girl. Okay. I'm gonna gently release this girl. I would do a uh, underwater, actually, let me put her over to this side. You guys can actually see me releasing her. It's pretty dark now, so I doubt y'all can see, but I'm pretty sure y'all will be able to hear her swim off. She's probably gonna do a kick right before she leaves. Swim off, big girl. Woo! And she's gone. Woo! Look at that, folks. Sun is setting. It's basically night time now and uh it's time for me to head back what an awesome day i will uh do uh my review on this slayer 10 when i get back home and uh yeah do my outro when i get back so see y'all then all right folks i'm back home now after a long but fun day of fishing out on lake berryessa today is the first day that i fished out of the native watercraft Slayer Propel 10. And I will say this, I have officially fallen in love with the Slayer 10. I absolutely love it. I have no problems with it whatsoever. The pedal drive is really works really, really well. It's super smooth. There is no problems with the pedal drive. I can stand on it perfectly without feeling like I'm gonna fall into the water. And you know, I'm a power lifter and I weigh about 220 pounds and being able to stand up on that thing 
and feel secure on it is an amazing feeling. The fact that the Slayer 10 is the most compact and lightweight pedal drive kayak made by Native Watercraft is one of the main reasons why I was so interested in it. Honestly, at first I was a bit skeptical about its stability because I am on the heavier side, but as soon as I test tried it out on Lodi Lake, all my skepticism disappeared. It vanished just like that. It's extremely stable, and on top of that, it has a lot of storage space. So not only is it lightweight and compact, it also has plenty of space for you to store your fishing gear and whatnot. The rudder control is pretty good, however, my only small gripe about the rudder is that when you turn it, it doesn't turn really fast. So you're gonna have to give it a little bit of time before it moves into the right direction. But other than that, it's a great kayak. So overall, I give the Native Watercraft Slayer 10 a nine out of 10. Again, my only gripe is the rudder, the turning of the boat. It doesn't turn as fast as I want it to, but that's no biggie because I can always modify it later on in the future. And as for the fishing today, boy was it windy in the beginning. I mean, it was so windy, the waves were just splashing onto my deck and my shoes were completely soaked, my pants were soaked, my boxers were soaked, my ass was freezing, okay? <laughs> like, I was like, God damn, it is brutal out there. But later on, thankfully, the wind started to die down and the fishing became better. I managed to accomplish my goal today, which made me pretty happy, and it was to catch five keepers and Towards the end of the day, I was really, really doubtful that I was going to accomplish my goal. But at last, at the very, very, very last minute, a big, gigantic spotted bass just slammed the robo worm and just absolutely made my day. I mean, it is for sure my PB. That thing was enormous. That fool fought like a six pound largey, man. Like, whoo. I, I was thinking, oh my god, this is either a huge largemouth or one hell of a feisty spotted bass or smallie. The one thing that I definitely need to improve on is the hook set for the chatterbait because I am just absolutely terrible at it. I really have not nailed it down yet and I'm still getting a couple backlashes. So I really need to figure it out and just be patient with me y'all. In time, I will figure it out and I will nail it down. Okay, that's basically all I have to say. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure y'all give this vlog a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down in the comment box below. And as always, if you're new to this channel, please hit the big red subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you'll always be notified whenever I drop a new video. Deuces y'all.